Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm doing a voiceover tutorial for you guys. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a very long time. Today I'm showing you how I got this glam drugstore look. I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. This is obviously not quite as light as my Tarte Shape Tape, which I usually use, but you know what? It works. It gets the job done. Um, I ended up actually liking this a lot more to use on my eyelids than I did under my eyes, just because of the color. And then I am blending it out with my Real Technique sponge. Atticus, no, dude. Um, lost my train of thought there. Silly cat. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes. I am using the LA Girl Pro HD Setting Powder, and I'm going with the NYX Earth Palette. I don't remember all these shades off the top of my head, so that's why I'm going to point teach them for you, and I don't have the palette in front of me right now to list them, but I'm starting off that light nude shade just to build up a very soft crease color before going in with kind of the taupier brown, which did not come out taupey on me. Not quite sure why it came out more orangey, but whatever, we rolled with it. Before going in with the dark brown in the bottom right corner of the palette, I'm just using it to build up mostly on the outer edge before pulling what's left of the color inwards on my crease. And now I am taking this Real Techniques pointed eyeshadow brush. I don't know what it's actually called, but I'm taking that teal shade and I'm just slowly picking up more and more pigment and building up my outer crease color until it's as deep as I want it to be. You gotta be really careful working with dark pigments, guys. Gotta build it slowly till you got it as dark as you want. And then I'm taking the dark brown again just to blend out the edges because I didn't want it to look patchy. Now I'm taking this weird pewter blue color which came out looking more green on my eyelids. I You could see me kind of going what the heck that was not the color I expected it to be but you know what doesn't really matter that it came out all weird because I'm going in with a glitter in two seconds anyway. So I just packed this all over the inner two-thirds of my lid before adding the NYX glitter primer with a flat shader brush. This is just some weird Amazon brush that I happen to own. Um, I don't know if they still sell it. You can search Amazon for it, but I bought these like eight years ago. So, yeah. And then I am going in with the NYX Glitter in Crystal. This is beautiful because it's a multicolor, so it's not just straight up silver or blue or pink. It's literally multicolor, and I love it. It's my favorite of the NYX glitters. I'm dying to try the new duochrome or metallic, whatever they're called, metallic pigments? I don't know. I keep seeing it on Malta.com and I'm like, ooh, I need to buy one. And then I realize I don't need another glitter. <laughs> and now I'm just taking more of the dark shade to kind of marry where it's meeting the glitter and cleaning up all the glitter that's fallen under my eyes. I'm now going to prime using the NYX Total Drop Primer. I still haven't made up my mind about this guy. I don't hate it, but I don't love it to the point where I'm like, oh my god, this is my new Holy Grail drugstore, but I don't hate it. I think as far as drugstore primers go, it's really nice. I wouldn't say it necessarily does anything for my pores, um, because it technically claims to be pore smoothing, but you know, whatever. I'm okay with that. It just gives me a nice base that's kind of tacky, so it adheres to my foundation. And of course, today I am using the NYX Total Drop Foundation to go with it, because I decided I should see how this primer works with its real foundation. And actually, pairing the two of these together, I did end up loving. It's very rare that I have to, you know, apply a foundation with its primer, but in this case, I did. And now I'm going to go ahead and use that same concealer from Rimmel under my eyes. Um, it is a squeeze-out paintbrush tip, which is a little weird, but, you know, whatever, we made it work. And blending it out before taking just a little bit of the LA Girl Pro Setting Powder on a brush to set my under eye. I prefer using a brush under my eye just because I feel like it gives me a more consistent look. It consistent's not the right word. I don't know how to word it. And then I'm taking my sponge from Real Techniques and dipping it into the powder before pressing it into the foundation on my face. My problem with going and doing this automatically under my eye is that I feel like it moves the concealer around too much, so I don't do that. And now, whoa, I sped through that concealer. Okay. I am now bronzing using the Maybelline Master Bronze Palette. I'm taking the two middle shades in there. Um, it's reading a lot more orange on camera than it looked in person, so I think I'm going in a little too intense with this, but whatever. I'm going to take the Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink, and I'm just lightly applying it to my cheekbones. I'm kind of avoiding the center of the apple on my cheeks before adding the Milani 
strobe. I think this is in the afterglow. I don't know. Everything I'm talking about will be linked down below. I suck at doing voiceovers, so, you know. And this is that NYX highlighting brush, which I'm actually really digging for highlight right now. And, of course, adding it to the tip of my nose and in between my eyes. And going in with this Wet n Wild gel lip liner. I believe it's called Bear to Comment. I believe. It's kind of a pinky color before going with the Milani Nude Creme Color Lipstick. This is like an OG lipstick for me. This is a newer tube, but I used to love this lipstick all the time. Then finishing off with the Milani Make It Last. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I just popped on some of the Eyler lashes to finish this off. Super easy. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!